If you're a military family, you know what this is like. They hadn't seen their dad since like May 2019. U.S. Navy Senior Chief Petty Officer Jason Hartwick was stationed in the UAE for his longest deployment yet. But Coben, Xander, Allison, and Jays were in for quite the surprise. They went to Military Appreciation Day at the Players' Championship, presumably to see their favorite musical group, the Chainsmokers. Well, I'll let you see for yourself what happened. Here he is. Give it up for Senior Chief Jason Hardwick. He's home. So here's the backstory. They go up there, the chain smokers are there, and they see Dad on the big screen. And there's a little glitch, right? And they're like, uh-oh, what happened? Well, Dad's in the background, and he comes up. So Let's welcome to the morning show. Coben, Xander, Allison, Jace, Mom Marcy, and U.S. Navy Senior Chief Petty Officer Jason Hartwick. Welcome home. Thank you for your service. And thanks for your service to the family, too, because we all know that the families make their own sacrifice as well. So who was the most surprised? I was. You were? <laughs> why, why were you the most surprised? Because he came out of nowhere. Yeah? <laughs> did anybody have a clue? Like, think it was going to happen? I didn't know. Why did you think it was going to happen? Wait, what? <laughs> like, like, did you have an idea that it, maybe Dad was really coming home? Yes, because she all... <clears throat> She, mom. she always, mom always talks on him with, on speaker, and he's like, oh, I don't need to be on speaker, so that's how I knew. <laughs> oh, it's the little things. So, mom, you actually knew because you, you didn't want to not tell her. So I'd be you, in big trouble if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew for like three weeks. Yeah. Was it kind of agonizing? Not. It was very, very much so. Yeah. So you've been in town for three days. That had to be almost as long as, you feel almost as long as the deployment, not being able to do anything about it. Three longest days of the deployment. Right. <laughs> so you're, you're standing kind of, you know, we'll call it backstage, and you're waiting to come out. What's going through your mind? I'm just really nervous. Uh, I just couldn't wait, couldn't wait to see him. Yeah. Really nervous. So you see Dad. You go up and hug him. What's going through your mind? It was overwhelming and emotional, but I was happy. Yeah. No, I, I know you guys have a favorite restaurant and you have some plans because you knew dad was going to be coming home soon because he was at the end of the hitch. So what are the plans now that dad's home? Uh, to go to Freddy's. Freddy's. <laughs> is that your favorite restaurant? Yes, sir. That is my favorite okay. restaurant. What are some of the favorite family things to do? Uh, watch movies together. Mm -hmm. And you've got spring break coming up. And I know that, uh, you know, mom and dad have some things in the works, but what, what are the things you'd like to do? Go to Disney. Go to Disney. Oh, <laughs> but you know, I had four boys. That's a that's a big thing to do. So what else besides spring break? What mm -hmm. else would you like to do? Play video games. Play video games. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Now I know a little secret about you, because you know, Dad was lo uh, away for a long time, and one of the things that you did to stay close to Dad was you always carried around his wallet, and inside that wallet was something special, right? Yes, sir. What was it? It was two, It was one coin and a picture of my dad. Oh, that's really sweet. Now, you know, it, it's really easier for military families these days, if you think about it, than it was, say, you know, back during World War II or even Vietnam because of, of technology. Did that make it easier for you when you were deployed because you could FaceTime with them and Skype and things like that? Absolutely, yeah. Um, that really made, made the, the difference, to be able to see them, talk to them, uh, even if it was only... Um, you know, a couple of days or a week before you can see them again. So that's a huge difference. Yeah. And you guys have been together since you were 17? 17. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you ever get used to the deployments? Mm, not really. You, you never really get used to it. It's very difficult, especially with having the kids and they have different days to where they, you know, they may all miss him and have a really hard time at that moment. And then one has a hard day and then the other one will come up and help out and, that really helps, but you never really get used to it. You just learn how to deal with it. Great. And, and seeing the chain smokers, was that cool? Yes, sir. It was awesome. Yeah. So when you talked, did you get a chance to talk to them? Uh, no, sir. I oh, shook you didn't? Their hand. You shook their hand? <laughs> you ever going to wash your hand? That'd be pretty grody, wouldn't it? A little bit. Oh, yeah, a little bit. What's your favorite chain smoker song? Closer. Closer? Closer. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Well, we are so glad you're home and home safe. You've got some free time, spend time with the family, and again, thank you to everybody for your service, and uh, we're glad you got to be excited and reunited thanks to the folks at the Players' Championship. Yeah. All right, time for a look-see at the weather. Hopefully the weather will be as good for you when you, go out. you guys go out on spring break on the 23rd because you're in Clay County, right? Yes. 
Sorry. Hopefully it'll be nice as the uh, weather that Rich is going to deliver for the kids who are on spring break right now in Duval County, Rich. It's